I'm back. And welcome back. Welcome back to you. Today, we got a quick but exciting one. So let's just get right into it. I don't have anything to offer in terms of like mental health journey suggestions today. I just kind of want to do this one and not like think too much about it as I <laughs> uh, often do. So let's get into the opening questions. Question number one. Is this in my wheelhouse? I mean, I should probably tell you what I'm doing first. Today, the craft is puffy paint. Puffy paint. I'm really excited about it. And I thrifted this Champions just totally plain long sleeve gray sweater, mm, shirt, gray shirt. And I want to write something cute across the front of it. So is this in my wheelhouse? Yeah, again, it's crafty. I'm crafty as you might have deduced, especially because you're likely a, a family member or a friend watching this. Um, yeah, the answer is yes. Question number two. Have I done this before? Probably in my childhood, but like in the last 15 years? No, I haven't painted with puffy paint on a shirt. I'm so excited. Question number three. What directions am I using? None. Not, I'm probably not even really going to read the back of this because... Question number four. How well do I think this is going to go? I don't know. The result... The result is a bit concerning for me because it's permanent. However, what I want to do, the irony is that what I want to puff paint on this shirt is some word about like process, be more process focused than result focused, you know, living in the moment, step by step. Ooh, <laughs> do, do you just see the light bulb in my eyes go off? It might, I might write step by step. That was, when I was younger, I used to get a lot of homework in elementary school. I don't know why my elementary school loved giving so much homework and I would come home from elementary school and I would be so overwhelmed by the amount of homework that I had to do. And my mom was like, okay, let's take this one step at a time. And that's a very much my life motto now. And I think that that's what I'm gonna write on the shirt. One step at a time. Okay. One step at a time. Where's the middle here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, I'm going to try to make it so that one step is on one side of the middle and at a time is on the other side of the middle. I'm going to sketch it out in pencil. Okay, that's good because I don't want to ruin the shirt before I've even started. There's like a line in my table here. I'm kind of using that as the, as the, oh, look at that. That's so handy as the marker, as the line for the text. I want this paint to be puffy. Oh, 
Ooh, that E is way bigger than that E. That's all right. <laughs> okay, we're a bit off center here, but that's all right. Because my A sketch is there, but I'm going to put my at a time over here. I'm just wiping off the tip because there's lots of excess there, making it harder to make it precise. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. It's definitely off, a little off center. I kind of want to do like a little tulip. Nah. Period? One step at a time period? I love using a period to fix a too far left sentence. Yeah, let's do it. One step at a time. Period. Obsessed. That was my fastest craft yet! Oh my god! Ah! Out of 10, how well did it go? 10 out of 10! That was so fun and quick. And I'm, I'm obsessed with this shirt that I spent $10 on. It looks so cute. It's, it's hanging to dry over there. That's why I'm like heart eyes looking over there. One step at a time. I'm so glad, glad that came to me and I didn't like think too hard on it and I just went for it because it really is such a a uh, useful thing for me to hear when I'm spinning out perfectionism wise because yeah I really just like get into the whole picture and I'm like well if I mess up this single portion then everything falls apart and I might as well just not do any of it so if I'm just like okay I will start here and then I will think about the rest later it really helps me to be able to actually focus how do I feel? Amazing, although weirdly out of breath. I'm not sure why, but like about the craft, I feel amazing. Best tip for anyone doing the same thing. Just go for it, man. It's puff paint. Like, it's gonna be cool no matter what. Would I do it again? 100% look at all this puff paint I have. Do you have a shirt you want to send me? I'll put puff paint on it for you. Send me your shirts. <laughs> what else can I put puff paint on? I don't have a, like, I mean, I have a, a lot of clothes, don't get me wrong, but I don't have so many clothes that I'm like, let me just put puff paint on all of them. Like I have to, you know, like wear professional clothes and I can't just put puff paint on everything I own, but I would like to. This was super fun. Thank you for joining me. I hope you find like a little fun thing to do today if you do share it with me uh thank you so much you're probably one of my friends or family so i love you <laughs> see you soon bye <laughs>